Sonic's dead. <laughs> Thank God. Great <laughs> good times. Come on. Uh, family Guy murder moments. <laughs> hey, Peter, remember that time we killed Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> so save our sauce over here is um in a perfect position to realize that something is very wrong, but he doesn't actually do anything about it. <laughs> Because he's not sure if this is part of the game. He's making That's the thing. Wage, like so, you? for the it, this also his first day on the job. Well, you know, he's an employee. He could just lean down and ask him real quiet, like. <laughs> Sonic's very committed but, to the bit, all right? He wouldn't be able to find well, out. That's the, well, that's I mean, that's the thing. We're kind of joking about that, but that's exactly why he doesn't, like, press on, because he's not sure, well, if this is part of the game, I don't want to ruin the game, uh, and that sort yeah, of thing. But, but is it part of the game? He's an employee. He can just lean down and say, Sonic, are you actually hurt, or is this just good acting? <laughs> In fact, Amy and Tails have already <laughs> left the room. He could just say it at a normal volume. No one would hear him. <laughs> um... But you know, I didn't sign up for this. So I'm gonna go work at Walmart. <laughs> so I could just see people doing this in the parking lot outside. But at least I know it's fucking real. Yeah, I'm going to Waffle House. Screw this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like how canonically Omo Chow is on the run for medical malpractice now. <laughs> Oh, what did he do? So like, that's what I want that's, to know. It's like, what did he do to get that? That is the best joke in this entire game. That he's the one for medical malpractice. <laughs> my, 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 fa my favorite part about that is, like, how would Omo Chow have actually ended up in a position to be found guilty of medical malpractice at all? Yeah, no, what was the judge? What did the judge and jury look like for that shit? <laughs> they were all Chow. Also, the idea that Knuckles would punch a, an arcade machine just to, just, just because he couldn't get the high score. I'm just imagining, like, the, the trial for that. Use the voting box to vote guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I wasn't supposed to say that out loud. If the stethoscope don't fit, you must quit. That's how we got out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I do like the jaunty, like, old-timey bar music that's going on. Oh, visual novels usually have some really catchy music attached to them. Oh, I think they, they would need to. Yeah, it's it's yeah, practically totally. required. Yeah, who could imagine reading something without music, right? Like, some sort of non-visual... Well, hold on. The name visual novel is kind of misleading, because unless you're blind and reading by touch, you're you're reading a novel with your eyes. Which is visual. Yes. I want a refund, <laughs> Sega. <laughs> get yeah, where's the murder of Sonic audiobook? <laughs> you could That'd probably do that. If, if, that would be great if they released it on April Fool's Day for free. Because, again, of course, this game didn't have the budget for the voice actors. So it's just two <sighs> hours of silence. You don't... There's obviously <laughs> a, a fan dub project in the work already. Like... Yeah, most definitely. Or if you want to be really depressive about it, someone's probably already using AI to generate them. Oh, no, please, no. You just gave them what ideas. I'm just saying, Medical you're cringe. malpractice. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> the other kind of funny thing about um, the Super Monkey Ball arcade cabinet being punched is that um, the Super Monkey Ball creator also created the, Yaku the Yakuza series. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Also, the bigger thing is that the Super Monkey Ball arcade game doesn't have joysticks and buttons. It has a rollerball. So this isn't even accurate to the game. It, and, so, and Knuckles sees through this, and that's why he destroyed it. I mean, he was probably <laughs> trying to get through Master, like, 4 or whatever it is, and that's why he punched the cabinet. And I can't blame look, him. That stage sucks. Look, <laughs> look you're overthinking it. It's just a bootleg arcade cabinet that doesn't have a rollerball. It's running main. Tells you, tells you shocked at that. How what? <laughs> Bootleg arcade game? <laughs> it's running main. Okay. <laughs> well, this car is going to jail. That's right. The whole fucking thing. Look, the arcade industry died twenty fucking years ago. Okay. Do you know how hard it is to get an a genuine arcade machine outside of Japan? It's pretty fucking hard. It's. I just realized uh, I, I just realized there are two arcade machines, huh? Yeah, it's 
my like one of my dreams and this is you, you know how sad my life is when this is my dream i want to own a pac-man arcade game arcade machine one day uh and yeah i can't afford that shit <laughs> You're talking about like a, a genuine and not like an arcade yeah, one. Like, like sort of just go to Walmart, they're two hundred bucks. Yeah. Machine. You know what's confusing me about that other arcade machine though? It has two. It has two analog sticks, two two yep. two uh, control sticks on the same side, and a bunch of buttons on the other side. So it's a single player that... game with two sticks. Knuckles should have broken that one for just defying the laws of physics. How am I supposed to play this two player? <laughs> <laughs> Armored Core, the arcade game. What's this game made for? Tangle. <laughs> Have you guys watched Billy and Mandy on Cartoon Network? When there's there's a episode uh, where Grimm's holding what uh, like a, an N64 controller, but it's got four handles instead of three, and he's like, "How the hell am I supposed to hold?" Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? You know what bothers me about Tails is get up there. He's got like an almost Sherlock thing, but he's got the wrong kind of hat. Why is that? Why would you why would you go far enough to get like the the freaking the the freaking shoulder cape thing but not the hat when the well, hat is it, the most the hat's important not part. even a real Sherlock thing, right? It was just an adaptation. Oh no, the 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 deer stalker cat cap is something that he wears from time to time. He just doesn't wear it all the time like in the adaptations. <laughs> um <laughs> Like, it's something he'll wear in a specific story here and there. Uh, so Monkey Ball is your favorite game. The arcade cabinet is covered in punches. So is Knuckles the only one who can punch? That's that's uh, racial profiling. You're a terrible detective. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to disagree. Well, he's the only one who can punch an arcade cabinet and damage something other than his own hand. Uh, although... No, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm see, pretty like, sure right... every character could technically punch, except for maybe Tails himself, ironically. All I'm of these sure, characters sure, like, can jump, like, six times their yeah. height. They they all can punch an arcade cabinet like that. Look, the only other viable suspect is Amy Rose, and she's been with us the whole time. So... No, Ve no Vector she's ahead of us. Vector and Shadow, I think, could easily break that. Or oh, maybe Blaze, you put some firepower behind it. Yeah, it's Shadow the Hedgehog in canon has karate chopped a, a computer monitor into smithereens. So he can f and uh, take the chaos emerald. He can in, uh, one he of the can spaceships. flip a bus with his bare hand. I'm pretty sure <laughs> he can break an arcade cabinet. Okay, so who is toast, apple, and bread, and bagel? I can't believe toast be candy. apple. That's crazy to me. <laughs> what the fucking apple? I thought you were better than that. <laughs> yeah, bagel, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, no, but like I want to, I want to know who they are and what their move sets are, so that they can, you know, make their big playable de debut in Sonic Adventure Five. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait that long. <laughs> no, but so this is where I kind of had like that. Oh, I guess this is all there is. Like moment when it comes to like the mini games, because like the earlier dialogue when it comes to interrogating Knuckles, like I thought they were setting up like, oh, we're gonna have like a, some sort of punch out mini game. We're gonna beat the shit out of Knuckles, but then uh, it, it just goes back to this mini game. And again, I, I really wish there was just uh, something more to do other than the the, the special stage stuff. Well, Sauce here doesn't have much what. of an ability to fight, so. All he has is his right. drink. Uh, we, we don't know that. We don't know anything about Sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Other than this is the first day of the job. There could be a karate expert. Uh. Hmm. You know, somehow my, I doubt In my head, Cannon, he's best friends with Stairs of the Abyss. Why? What do you, what do you got the base off of that? Well, mainly because he's like the lankiest, boring looking guy in the entire Sonic universe. Physique doesn't Look, matter. Look, the Avatar character was it in Forces? Look at the crazy stuff that <laughs> Look, person did. This guy looks more boring than the default Avatar in Forces, is what I'm saying. You're just jealous because your name isn't Sauce. Well, it, it could be. I can legally change it at any time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to be jealous. If I, Fuck if I, really, just like, watch if me. I really wanted to be named Sauce, I could just change my name to Sauce. Um, <laughs> Do it, you won't. Well, no, I won't. That's a stupid <laughs> name. <laughs> what? What? In case you didn't know who Rouge was, 
Oh, oh I, yeah. I was going to say, I have no idea what this no, is. Like, All right, now you're full of shit. What, this, <laughs> Confess, this, motherfucker. That, it made it, look, without reading the text, I just got it in my head that, that Tails had randomly discovered a picture of Rouge in, in Knuckles' wallet. And I was just like, what, what is this doing here? <laughs> Finally, they're advancing their storyline from Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah. They have to explain who all the characters are for, you know, the, the new time people who are playing their first Sonic game as the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, you know, to be fair, <laughs> Rouge has dropped out of the universe for so long that anybody who hasn't been keeping up with, like, the comics might not know her at this point. Wasn't she in uh, Poisons? She was, no, the last she time was she appeared she was Prime was, as well? She, well, Prime, yeah, but I haven't watched Prime. I'm willing to bet a lot of people haven't. So it doesn't this exist. In top ten of Netflix kids. <laughs> Every time we talk, I think you are there, Lewis. Well, yeah, because I have better things to spend my subscription money on, like Crunchyroll. Wait. <laughs> Ooh, kind of wish you didn't. <laughs> kind of wish you did a better service. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'll try to help you, but you're well, making it really joke, hard. But I'm actually spending yeah. my subscription money on Amazon Prime because I get more than just streaming from that. Yeah, you get to give Jeff Bezos' money to your friends on Twitch instead of your own money. And as we all know, whenever you can use Jeff Bezos' money for anything, um, you should, because he certainly is not using it for anything. What's the exchange rate on Bezos bucks? On Bezos bucks? Um, yeah. Well, Wait. if you know the, the Twitch payouts, uh, $5 of Bezos bucks is only worth $2.5 for everyone else, which is Wait why it. he's so rich, because his money's literally worth twice as much. Yeah, Wait, the what? Twitch payout system that doesn't make any sense. So, Johnny, Basil Box did the same as Itchy and Scratchy Box. Wait, is that an actual thing? <laughs> no. Okay, good. <laughs> I was going to say. As far as I'm aware. <laughs> as far as I'm aware. I should probably he's put a little he's uh, asterisk on that. He's so rich, he gives his family members Basil Box <laughs> Christmas time. I was going to say, if, that's a, like, if that was an actual thing, I'm about to check out of this universe forever. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Jeff, what do we, what just do gonna... we use these for? You get to use these to go work in the mines. These Timmy. aren't worth the paper they're printed on. I'm just going to find the nearest extra dimensional portal and jump on over to that to that Doctor Who universe with all the air balloons. That probably has a better economy if they have money to build all those air balloons. No, because now it's just bison dollars. goddamn train that it's, it can have a two-story library? Oh, actually, there are luxury trains in the real world that have stuff like this going on. Um, not sure two about the stories, two stories, though. That's story. a tall That's, fucking cart. Yeah. The two stories is yep. pushing it. Talking but... animals, murder mysteries, <laughs> sentient robots. It's great. I love the real world trains. But there are, like, luxury trains with, like, a casino, a library, that sort of thing. You know. Just like Money Plane. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of bitches. I was gonna say Money Train, but that actually is a movie already. The the real thing that I have to wonder is like, how do the books stay on the shelves? Like, do they? Oh, that's have, right. Like, they're probably they're, they're chained down. <laughs> yeah, they're just for show. You can't read anything here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, they, just, so, they just know, give you a complimentary just, Kindle. <laughs> I've just noticed this. Libraries for uh, atmosphere. The bookcase behind Vector, like the shelves aren't straight. It's like we have to get we have to get these books that are that are height wise. They go down. They yeah. will fit perfectly hey, into this. Do you have bookcase. Do you have a copy of uh, War and Peace slightly skewed? <laughs> so okay, here's the here's the thing. I used to work at a bookstore. That that's the most annoying part about shelving is is that all the books are different sizes, and it some of them are too big to fit in the shelf where they're supposed to go. So you have to put them on the mm -hmm. top shelf, and then everything's out of order. And then your manager yells at you, and you get fired. Not that I would know from experience. <laughs> Did you kill Sonic? Ted? No comment. Now, <laughs> I have a plot question regarding this whole mystery show sh setup. Why is there a fucking butcher? on a luxury train in the first place. You gotta eat, Lewis. You gotta stop. I was gonna prepare the food. You don't butcher the meat on the train. Come on. <laughs> if you want it, if you want it farm fresh. Want it fresh, you, yeah, you want yeah, it fresh, you do. This is the luxuriest train. They grow the cows right on the train. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> yeah, the, the cows are grown made to There's order. There's a grazing car? <laughs> <laughs> like, is it, is it, is it Shadow a locksmith? Like, why is he on a train? Look, they, have, like, <laughs> they have a whole five cars at the back of the train dedicated to farming A5 beef. What? <laughs> <laughs> How do the cows stay upright? <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, I like the I, I like Espio's bit here though, where whenever he 
actually has a po- poem to recite, the two curtains come up and they've got and they've got these the like four different chow on them, all yep. making different poses. It's cute. My favorite poem he has, he talks about lotion. It's like this the it's like the the uh commo- the, the, this train is in motion. I can't find my lotion. I look out and see a peaceful ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. I'm like, ah, oh, it's genius. <laughs> Give that man whatever the Oscar for poetry is. <laughs> not since not since look. Avril Lavigne rhymed TV with MTV look. have I heard such lyrical genius look. as lotion rhymed with lotion. <laughs> look, yes, SBO only has his rap battle experience to draw on here. Okay. <laughs> uh, please tell me that's, SBO, that's, he's clearly that's, ready uh, to go. That's not a real thing. That. <laughs> That there's there isn't actually an SBO rap battle. Oh, that. No, I don't know about that. Maybe. I, no. Spirit Unite! I, I don't know. Was there? I don't know. I feel it's really easy to get gaslit with Sonic related stuff because <laughs> I don't follow every there's little so, thing about the franchise. There's so much stupid shit in this franchise. <laughs> I can't tell what's true anymore. I love, I, I love that hang in there, post. I would have loved it if they just pulled a joke from The Simpsons. Copyright 1963. <laughs> mm, no matter how determined, that child's most likely dead. That's kind of a downer. I did. I, I, made, that exa- I made that exact joke on my video. <laughs> I wish they would have gone for that. Yeah. I like how... SBO is riding with a feather quill on a moving train. That's just like, why would you hurt yourself? Commitment to the bit. <laughs> He's a ninja. He can do what he wants. You know, he is a ninja, so he probably does have the dexterity to pull that off. Okay, so. <laughs> so my, my question would be then, do you think this character, who you can name whatever you want, do you think they're going to become a like mainstay background character or are they going to go the way of the avatar and forces and one and done that's all you get if they make uh, another visual novel he'll be back if they don't he's yes. gone all right <laughs> he's dead <laughs> just uh... sauce is dead <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised to see him pop up in the comics at some point oh uh, yeah the, the comics i think is just a given well, at see, some I, point or another i i think the problem it might be the same thing the same issue with the avatar i know ian flynn has talked about the reason why the avatar won't appear again in like in like comic book format is because because there was and i, I know this is different from this character but because there were so many options it's it'd be it would be almost impossible for any random person to read the comic See, this is the Avatar character, and it would match what they had. Yeah, you know. So, but and again, I, I think yeah, I think I don't see this character being in the in the comics if they have to give it a legit name. But yeah, I think if there is another, like, like if there's a sequel to this, I could see. Oh, we're gonna go into an escape room run by this different company. Oh, you're here. What was your name again? Sauce. There you go. You yeah, know. it's a, it's a <laughs> bit like the Mass Effect novels. They they whenever they mention Commander Shepard, they have to be extremely vague about it. Because the player's Commander Shepard could be any number of things, and they don't want to step on anyone's like narrative toes. Um, it's like it's like it's, it's like Professor Oak. What was my grandson's name again? <laughs> Portrait of Professor Pickle. Yes, um, it yeah. is. I love yeah. it because yeah, they they reference it because they reference the um. You may have missed it, but the train conductor he's going on on a vacation to Spagonia. Yeah. After this trip, and I think tells him says, "Oh, you should go meet my friend, Professor Pickle. He likes to make sandwiches." You know what my fucking favorite thing about that portrait is? The only thing that you can see is his eyebrow, and yet he's totally recognizable. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> he's got those fucking Gandalf the Grey eyebrows. Uh, who wrote this game? Like, who are the? Did, what did the comic writers write this? Or? No, it no. was it was it was mostly the people on the social media team. Like, I know I I forget her last name, Katie. I can't so pronounce her last name. I don't know. Yeah, I had Johnny, to. Uh, you, it, it was funny because her. yeah, I've no. Here's the thing though. When I was making the video for this, I had to DM her <laughs> to say, "Listen, <laughs> I love you, but how do you pronounce your last name?" I just want to make sure, like, I'm she's getting like, it that's right. The, that's the last time you go to Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Krizanowski. That's how you pronounce the last name. Ah, really? yeah. Because that that is not pronounced at all how I thought it would be. Yeah. But okay. <laughs> But it was so, and again, it was, um, I forget, I forgive you, I forget her real name. Her online handle was like Mika something. She, she makes like the funniest post on Twitter, but she, she was a big part of it. I want to say, I don't think Ian Flynn had any, 
Ian Flynn either had nothing to do with it, or he just like he was just made aware of its existence. But yeah, it was mostly just people <laughs> who worked on the social media. Team. <laughs> fuck, and he gets amazing. paid. He's like, fuck, even more characters now. I gotta write. <laughs> <laughs> 